Hey, what is up, folks? Zero Fats here coming at you on behalf of AdventuresOnTheRiver.com. Um, had a uh, viewer ask me not too long ago if I could, uh, you know, take a look at SaleWho.com and give my take on that site and uh, if it might help uh, help them make some money. Uh, so today we're going to be uh, doing a little bit of a review here on SaleWho.com. Uh, we're going to check it out and I'm going to let you guys know what I think. Uh, so let's get right to it. Um, you know. When I look at these sites, I generally like to follow a, uh, a little bit of a guide. I'm not going to pull my guide up for you guys today, um, but we're just going to take a look here. So this is the site that's in question, you guys. This is salewho.com. Um, and, and what it is, uh, it's you can kind of see it's easily find trusted drop shippers and wholesalers. Now what, what they're going to do is they're going to give you a, a list, number one, they're going to give you a huge list of drop shippers and wholesalers. Um, they're going to uh, also, they're going to do a couple things for you. They do some market research here. You're going to um, enter in like, um, you're going to enter in you're going to enter in like a product they're going to pull back a list of wholesalers and drop shippers that you can order that product from and the idea is that you're going to be able to sell that to make a profit on like Amazon or on eBay at this point in the game mostly you know Amazon <laughs> so that's the idea um, this right here find hot niches this is just supposed to kind of help you uh, this is just supposed to help you find uh, you know things that are uh, selling well right now uh, things that people are doing well in selling right now you can see success rate you know 75 percent beats by Dre average end price hundred and ten dollars that's not telling you hey you're gonna find this product cheap cheap and you're gonna be able to sell it for ex you know expensive it's not it's it's a success rate of sales so you know, this has nothing to do with what call what, what your cost is going to be. So, but that that's still that's kind of a neat you know hot niche finder. That's nothing that you can't get for free on the internet. But that that's okay, whatever. So sales who it's got this wholesale directory. That's you know that's the thing. Eight thousand direct uh, eight thousand security screen suppliers. And what they're saying here is they've screened them. They're all real deal suppliers. See, we only list genuine wholesales, wholesaler offerings. Okay, that's what they're kind of saying. You got your market research lab, which we just talked about. Sale who stores. This is basically them uh, offering to help you make a store, like your own website, so you don't have to give eBay a cut of the action, or you don't have to give Amazon a, their healthy little commission. Um, that's basically what that is. Okay, so then you got a community forum okay then you got a training center seller training center okay then you got you know e-commerce blog okay so this is basically the website so what you're paying for is you're basically paying for help okay you want to be in the business of selling on Amazon or selling on eBay and you're 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 subscribing to this site because you're hoping that they can put you in contact with some great wholesale suppliers or some great drop shippers that's going to get you into some great niches and you're going to be making good money, you know, really good money selling on Amazon or eBay basically. Um, does it work? That's the question. Does sale who work? And how much is it? Okay, well let's let's figure out how much is it first of all, you know. Let's just get right into uh, join now. Let's go to join now. And here it is. It's 67 bucks a year. 67 bucks a year. So, you know, 7 divided by 12. So, it's about 550 a month. That's not very much, you know, but is it worth it? You know, I don't want to pay 550 a month for something that is completely unnecessary. I mean, every expense counts, especially in the the business of um, selling from home. You know, when you got to worry about like shipping expense and everything else. So, is it worth it? Oh, here's the other one, guys. Um, talking about uh, a store. 
Okay, that's the 67 bucks a month or 67 bucks a year for the the directory, and then 27 dollars a month to have your store. Now, 27 dollars a month to have a store is that worth it? Uh, to me, it doesn't really seem like it would be because you know you can get your own, you can open up your own website for, you know, you can buy your own domain name for 10 bucks, and then you can you know you can get hosting for five to six bucks a month so I mean this is twenty seven bucks a month and you're 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 basically attached at the hip to sale who so that's you know whatever so so the question is man can sale who put me in contact with a bunch of suppliers and a bunch of wholesalers that I really couldn't figure out by myself without them can they really help me well to do that you know we're gonna have to get away from their site but before we do that, let's go back to their homepage real quick. Whenever you get to a place and you're wondering about signing up for it, always go down to the bottom. Go down to the bottom and see if you see something that says affiliates. See that? Affiliates right there. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on that. All right. Now look here. Good commissions. 50% paid on each and every sale. We also pay out on any of our other products that customers buy. This is a free to join affiliate program and it's 50% paid on each and every sale. So, this is $67 a year plus $27 a month on the on the website thing. So, I mean, you know, your affiliates stand to make a little bit of money. Uh not not crazy money, but enough. And here's how we test affiliates in this day and age, right? You go right to YouTube, okay? And you type in sale who all right, and what do we pull up? Here we go. One, two, three, four, five. I mean, it's. It, look, look at every single one of these guys. It's affiliate link. Affiliate link. That's a sale who review, and it's affiliate link to Instant Payday Network. <laughs> that's not even. That's not even about sale who. This is someone who's going to try to discredit sale who, and uh, probably uh, try to push you to instant payday network <laughs> that's that's nonsense that's fine whatever um, affiliate link you know affiliate link affiliate link here's one I don't see an affiliate link let's just click on that real quick just to double check okay there's the affiliate link it's a little bit farther down so there's the affiliate link on that one too um, affiliate link affiliate link affiliate link okay so essentially you have a bunch of people that are gonna be biased towards sale who so there's a good chance you're not gonna find an honest legitimate opinion about sale who here every one of these people are gonna tell you this thing works like crazy and you're gonna be able to make great money we need to dig deeper to figure out what sale who is really about so to do that well oh well look I mean let's go back to Google okay now listen sale who is gonna be geared at your Amazon sellers and it's gonna be geared at your eBay sellers now I think eBay has eBay has a forum and so does an Amazon they have forums and there's a lot of forums all over the internet that talk about Amazon and eBay so if we could kinda of find one of those forums where real genuine sellers are talking about their experiences using sale who then we'll get a little bit more insight on what's actually happening on sale who so let's let's try something like this is sale who worth it now we can easily get like affiliates when we put in stuff like this but we just kinda gotta look and see what pulls up the first one is Askkin.com, eBay suspension and PayPal limited forums. eBay suspension and PayPal limited forums. Now that looks kind of promising to me. The first one right off the bat. Um, so, you see, see what we're doing here. We're going to a site that's not geared around sale who. It's geared around things in the same grain as sale who. So this guy writes a question this was in 2011 is salewho.com actually worth s signing up for it's 70 bucks just to join anyone have experience with this company 
Look at this guy responds. Nah, it's just a waste of time. There's nothing on sale who in any category you specialize in that you can't find on your own using search engines like Google and Yahoo. If you sign up, it'll just be a waste of money that you could have saved. And this person says, yep, stay away. Nothing useful on there. Best thing I found out of it was dhgate.com. And that was three years ago. Okay. Okay. Been a member there for about four years. Great staff that answers almost all questions, night or day. They personally cater to new members and search out their best suppliers, normally within 24 hours. Okay. I managed... Had a former eBay employee there, occasionally comes on and gives some feedback. Nothing worth noting, though. Pretty much same old eBay BS. There was a DVD supplier that I made a couple of bucks off of selling old movies and another drop shipper that I was using before I got there. I managed to make a couple hundred bucks from them doing some freelancing, so I'm in the black with them. Then they go in and talk about a former moderator that took, took money. <laughs> <laughs> took money and he's in trouble with the law and got his eBay accounts frozen. Um, here's the end. With all of it said, it's 67 bucks for an active forum and mostly used and abused suppliers. And the earlier comments are right. You can find the suppliers on the internet. Um, pretty interesting and six story planes. Way to prove some insight. He's kind of commenting on that other comment. Um, Here's another one. They are a complete scam. They get info from Google and every other source that you can get. The problem is most of the sellers listed on their site do not sell to eBay sellers, but they do not tell you this. I fell for this a few years ago and found 90% of the info is available on Google or through other wholesale sources. Do not waste your money. The owners of Sell Who, who Sale Who is a f huge power seller on eBay and competing right back against you after selling you a load of crap for 70 bucks. Google, Thomas Register, etc. have better sources that are not all used up. The problem with these wholesale source lists is that you are following a well-worn path. Now that's important to remember guys, you know, the less worn a path is, the less people that have tried something, you know, the higher your success rate the better you stand to do so many people before you and after you seek them out all of them looking for the same thing secret source of popular products for cheap that they can quickly resell on eBay for huge profits the only problem is there are no secret sources eBay for whatever its faults is the most competitive marketplace on earth everyone would love to find a digital camera they could buy for 50 bucks and sell for a hundred so hundreds of people try this every day especially with the economy the way it is now but they cannot get the profit margins they want, so they quickly lose interest and move on to something else. If you want to succeed with eBay, you need to find a niche. Don't look where everyone else is looking. Forget electronics, iPhones, and the latest gizmos and toys. Find a product that has a market, but not a large market. There will be far fewer sellers to compete with. Okay, so this is basically saying, you guys, you guys can kind of see what they're basically saying. Sales who, sales who is not going to give you a lot of not going to give you a lot of value for what you're paying. It's going to give you information that you could get for free. Sales Who Review. When you see something like this, this is this is something that like generally it's going to be affiliate, you know. Sales Who. If you're looking for a Sales Who Review that is honest and detailed, you come to the right place. Okay. So you see see this uh See that? Takes you right to Sales Who website. So that's an affiliate link. You know. Click here to access a huge directory of wholesale companies. Well that's exactly what Sales Who Who does. You click on that and you go right to Sales Who's website. I mean this is you know, this is an affiliate. This is an affiliate. He's trying to sell Sales Who. That's fine. Um, as long as you understand what's happening, you know. Legit sales, sales who review scam alert wholesale drop shipping. Um, let's try this. See this sales who sucks dot com. Sales who sucks. <laughs> was about to join sell who, but was determined by the sense of urgency that the site tried create. 
That always throws a red flag for me. Does anyone know of a good source for wholesale dropshippers? Um, after finding the site disappointing, I've requested a refund, but I have had two replies now arguing why I should why I should stay on and not ask for a refund because I apparently haven't given them a chance. Salehu is full of SHIT. Don't join them. I tried to find a site like this before. I joined but couldn't find any search results in Google which showed Salehu scam. I must have requested a refund through ClickBank directly, hoping hope they would give me a re my money back as someone on this forum previously did. So it, here's basically a whole website that's called SaleWhoSucks.com. I mean, that doesn't always mean anything, but it's definitely an indication that at least one person was mad enough about the website to make an entire website against them, which is doesn't say much for sale who. Um, I usually try to go to Warrior Forum if I can, just to see if there's anything there. Um, Warrior Forum is a bunch of people who do affiliate marketing, they're in small business, they make money from home, and uh, usually you get some really good, uh, really good information from there. If you're trying to figure out about a, a program or, uh, you know, something you're interested, you're interested in buying, Anyone has used sale who before? Is it a scam? I want some review. I don't know personally, but I found this in case it helps. Sale who sucks. <laughs> I think we were just on that site. Um, I'm a sale who member. It's okay, but the community is not that large. Now this was written in 2009, you guys. Um, there are a lot of newbies there. One of the moderators is sale who started his own brokerage, and for as little as 45 bucks, you can get a sample pallet. I would just check that out before you join Salehood non-affiliate link. Um, I've used and do not think much of it. It's very difficult to find products that you can make much profit with. Um, hey selfless marketer, are the prices too high or are they just not that many products that will sell? I can say that I tried out Salehu for a while and was not impressed. I was attempting to find products to resell on eBay. I looked for weeks without finding much at all. I would not recommend it if you if your plan is to sell on eBay. Salehu is not a scam in the least, but there is a company, Worldwide Brands, that many feel has greater benefits. Uh, if you go to Google and search, you can find it. Okay, so there you go. Someone's trying to push another another thing. Um, I have thought about trying out dropshipping, but I don't hear about people making money from doing it. I mean, does it work? Do you have specialized the type of products you sell? Can't say I've ever used it, but I've sold quite a few of them. Nice commission. <laughs> I only had one refund off 30 plus sales. Not bad, I think. Now here's a guy basically saying uh, he's never used sale who, but he makes a lot of money off of the affiliate commission. <laughs> it's funny. Um, when you know it's funny because um, you know this guy's probably poised himself as you know a a seller. He's poised himself as someone who uses the product. That's that's how he's gotten people to click on his link and buy the product. But uh, here he's basically saying he's never even used it. That's kind of funny. It's, it's not a scam, but you won't make any money selling on eBay unless you buy in bulk. If you only buy one or two things, you might save 10% or over what you can buy it on eBay for. Not even margin enough to make a profit after eBay and PayPal fees. Um, I have used Salehu and it's definitely not a scam. In order to be successful in dropshipping, you have to find the right products to buy. It's just like any other business. Uh, find the best possible products that will bring in the most profit. I do have a back area review on my site. If interested to see what it looks like, sale who is all right. However, a lot of people use it, so it's going to be hard to find a good profitable product. Okay, this is the key right here, you guys. Sale who is all right. However, a lot of people use it, so it's going to be hard to find a good profitable product. So here, what do we know about sale who so far? We know it offers a lot of info. That is freely available through Google and Yahoo um, so that that equals not good value okay what else do we know very 
well tread upon. Sales who is handing you a list of suppliers that it's handing every, if you go to them and say, hey, listen, I want to sell baseball hats, um, and they're going to hand you the same list of suppliers that they sell every other person in their system that says, I want to sell baseball hats. So it, it's a well tread path. So there's a good chance whatever you get for five bucks a pop, someone else has already got for five bucks a pop, and your margin's going to be determined determined by whatever they're selling it for on Amazon or eBay so you don't have a lot of freedom there um, basically what it boils down to there's a good chance you're not going to be making much profit you're going to be you're going to be fighting an uphill battle okay so I've seen enough you guys um, as far as I'm concerned uh, sales who is not sale who is not something that I would 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 waste my money on um, it looks like I'm going to be getting some information that I could probably find for free on my own, and it also looks like something that's going to give me information that you know a lot of people, other people already have, and I'm not going to make a lot of money. Um, that's just my take on it, you guys. Um, you know, go to salewho.com, make your own decisions, make your own opinions. You know, do your own investigative research and see what you think. If you find something you think you can make money on. Give it a shot. Go for it. You know, five fifty a month is not a lot of money. Um, of course, they're going to ask for that up front. They want it a year in advance, so you have to pay the sixty-seven. But you know, ultimately, it's not a whole lot of money. Um, but I'm not into paying for something I can get for free. So that's that's not that's not me, and that's not how you make money. So, anyways, um, hope this uh, hope this video has been helpful to you guys. If it has. Um, Please like, please share, please subscribe. Uh, if you get a chance, check out my website, adventuresontheriver.com. It's where I teach you how to make a full-time income using the power of Amazon.com. Anyways, I will catch up with you guys next video. Peace.